Hey, hey, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Shanae, and today I'm going to show you how to make super simple but very delicious egg yolk cookies. This recipe is very popular on my website, and if you know anything about me, you know I love meringue-based desserts like angel food cake, pavlova cake, and of course macarons. And I end up with a lot of extra egg yolks all the time. And over the years I've collected so many recipes to utilize egg yolks because I don't like to waste food. And one of those recipes is this egg yolk cookies. They're so delicious, they're rich and slightly cakey, but really delicious cookies. And this recipe uses six egg yolks, which is a lot, which is great when you have a lot of extra egg yolks. But if you have a fewer egg yolks, don't worry, I'm gonna share five other ways to use egg yolks in different recipes. I will share it later while the cookies are baking, but let's get started. So for this recipe, we don't need a lot of ingredients, some basic ones, flour, vanilla extract, sugar, egg yolks, butter, baking powder, salt, and cream of tartar, and chocolate chips. And you can also add nuts if you would like. Any kind of chopped nuts is great. Walnuts, pecans, whatever. But I'm gonna be using only chocolate chip cookies. First of all, what we'll be doing is, and you don't even have to use the stand mixer, but I like to use it because it's easier for me. We'll do, we'll whip butter and sugar until nice and fluffy, about three minutes. Now we're gonna add vanilla extract into the yolks. Mix it together. Break apart the egg yolks. And then add it into your butter and sugar mixture. Scrape the butter down into the bowl. And mix it until combined. So the mixture is super nice and fluffy. And into the mixture, we're gonna add the flour, baking soda, cream of tartar, and salt. And then we will continue mixing on low speed first so that nothing shoots out as much. Made a mess, but it's okay. Part of the baking. Uh, now, we don't wanna mix it for too long. And if you mix it for too long, the cookies might come out too dense, and we don't want that. Now we will add into the batter the chocolate chips. And if you're using nuts, add the nuts as well. And then we'll finish mixing with a spatula. The dough is um, actually kind of thick dough, but I promise the cookies are gonna come out really delicious. Now the cookie dough is ready. So now we're gonna shape the cookies. I love to use this um, medium size cookie scoop. I like to use this medium size cookie scoop to uh, form the cookies for uniform equal size cookies. You will get about um, dozen, three dozen cookies with this recipe. And one thing is you wanna flatten the cookies because they don't spread as much during baking. And one thing I forgot to mention is if you have extra chocolate chips um, or you can reserve from, uh, from earlier and place them on top of the cookies, as a decoration, like so. Because you can't always 
be able to put chocolate chips on top visible and this way the cookies will come out pretty. This is totally optional of course. Okay, into the oven it goes. For about 10 minutes at 350 degrees, my oven is already preheated and I'll show you how they come out. So cook, my first tray of cookies are baking in the oven right now. I usually cook, uh, bake my cookies one sheet at a time and that's right, we don't need to chill the dough or anything. Just make the dough, shape and bake. And while we're waiting for the cookies, let me talk about other ways to use extra egg yolks. Any kind of custard-based desserts are perfect for utilizing extra egg yolks. So, for example, I have a classic pastry cream filling uh, that you can use for filling eclairs or making banana cream pie. My recipe uses four extra egg yolks, makes it really nice, rich custard filling. Another way is if you have an ice cream machine, homemade ice cream is the best. Uses my recipe, calls for four egg yolks too, and nothing beats rich homemade ice cream. And another recipe you can try is creme brulee. If you haven't had creme brulee, oh my gosh. If you haven't made your own creme brulee, oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Super simple, yet very impressive. My recipe calls for three egg yolks, so if you have only three egg yolks, go ahead and try my uh, creme brulee recipe. And another recipe that you can try is French buttercream. My recipe calls for, for two egg yolks, so whenever I'm making macarons, I am most often make French buttercream because uh, macaron recipe calls for two egg whites and buttercream calls for two egg yolks, works out perfectly. And I have two recipes with egg yolk buttercream. Uh, one is pistachio buttercream and other one is in my basic macaron recipe. And one last recipe that you can try if you have one egg yolk is my pie crust. My all butter homemade butter crust is unbelievably flaky super delicious. I think I should make a video for it, but for holiday season, it will be perfect. Egg yolk adds that nice richness and you will absolutely will love it. So I hope you have uh, some great ideas here for different amounts of egg yolks, depending on how many you have. And if you try any of these recipes, please don't forget to leave me a review on the website under the recipe and share it on Instagram and tag me on it so I can take a look. So cookies are ready, they're a little bit hot, but we're going to transfer it onto a cooling rack to cool completely. Look at this, how cute. And it smells so good, can't wait to give it a try. So my cookies are cooling, they smell amazing. These cookies are rich, slightly cakey and not very sweet. One of the most feedbacks I hear about these cookies is how not overly sweet they are, which is very true and really delicious. It's a very basic recipe. A lot of my readers uh, came back uh, with their tweaks they have made. Uh, some of my favorites are adding almond extract instead of vanilla extract. Um, orange zest is another great addition. Somebody actually uh, swapped half of the butter for Nutella that sounds amazing, right? Uh, they reported it really good. Also, crystallized ginger. I cannot wait to try that version. And also, somebody also said they added uh, raisins, which is another option, right? So, I really hope you will give these cookies a try. These are really, really delicious. I'll show you how it looks inside. It's really not that soft cake-like, but it's thick and rich and really, really delicious, you know? You just got to try it. And I really hope you will give it a try. And if you do try it, please leave me a review on my website. You can also take a picture and share it on your Instagram. Don't forget to tag me so that I can see it too. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Do you guys want to try cookies? Yeah. Yeah? Uh. Two. You want two? This one. I want this one. Okay. One. You can sit on there. Oh. Wow. Uh, yeah.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Try it, Georgie. What do you think? Good. Is it good cookies? Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. Oh, good. You should try this recipe. Thank you.